Good day my friends, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the Tundra ecosystem. Have you ever asked yourself about what would be the worst places on earth to live in? Well you might think about the desert, or an abandoned island, or even at the top of a volcano. Well, you are not wrong, but one of the places to live in would be the Tundra. So what is Tundra? Let's find out. A tundra is another type of ecosystem that is very cold and dry and mostly found in the northern part of the world like in Alaska and Upper Russia. It has long cold winters and cool summers. There are two kinds of tundra. The first one is the Arctic tundra that is found at the far north along the Arctic Circle that can be found in the northern areas of America, Europe, and Asia. The second one is the alpine tundra, which is high in the mountains above the tree line. Now let's talk about the winter there. Well, it is the longest season you'd feel if you're living there, and it can last for over 8 months. There's usually a lot of snow. It is very cold during this time that it would drop to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 51 degrees Celsius, and that's in negative. Fun fact learners, do you know why we shiver when it's cold? Well, shivering is done by our body to warm ourselves. It tightens our skin and shakes our muscles and thus producing heat in our body. Okay, back again to the topic. Tundra is sometimes called a frozen wasteland because during winter, plants and trees cannot grow. Because the surface is frozen and animals die because of the cold or the food is scarce. How about the summer? Is it a relief to have one in there? Well, it's super opposite in the summer. It starts with the summer solstice where the earth is tilted enough that places in the tundra have the longest day ever. Sometimes it can have the sun for over 24 hours. And this time it becomes very hot that it reaches 50 degrees and this causes much of the snow to melt. The melting snow makes water and forms ponds that cause the animals such as birds to come out and taste the sweet smell of the summer breeze. Fun fact learners, did you know that the hottest summer happened in Manitoba in Canada? Yes it did. It's a cold place yet it happened there. Now you might ask, are there a lot of plants in the tundra? Well there's still plants in there like the shrubs, grasses, herbs, and lichens. The lichens grow close to the ground and they're very important for some animals as it serves as their food when it is winter. Perennials can also be found in tundra. It's a kind of plant that comes back each year with the same root. This allows the plants to grow in the summer even if it looks dead in the winter. It is also collecting nutrients during winter and is used up during summer. Most of the plants adapt and have dark and hairy stems and leaves that actually helps them gather energy from the sun faster. Now how about the animals in tundra? We've seen a lot of snow animals on television. Animals like wolves, birds, ducks, swans, foxes, owls, oxen, and others live there. Mostly a lot of them are observed in the summer. Some birds migrate in groups to warmer places for them to survive if the winter is coming. Insects crawl out and lay eggs that hatch in the summer. Some of the mammals hibernate or go into a deep sleep during the winter months to survive. They sleep and don't eat for several months. We can also notice that some of the animals that live there grow thicker fur coats to keep them warm in the winter times and some of their fur turns white and they become invisible to some predators because the environment at that time is covered in snow which is white. The snowy owl is a beautiful creature that has a white coat and stays in the tundra. They are actually the quietest when it comes to flying that the prey won't even know they are coming. Many birds, insects and fish come out from hibernation during summer and make the tundra filled with animal life. So learners, now we've learned a lot about the cold places on earth. Be sure to wear a lot of thick jacket when visiting them. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. 
Have a nice day.